everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we're gonna be making bacon and shrimp alfredo. Before anything else, make sure your hands are clean. So what I'm doing right now is I'm just chopping one small shallot. Of course, we need to peel the skin. We don't want that in our alfredo. I'm just chopping the shallots into small pieces. I only use a small shallots because I don't want these to overpower our alfredo sauce and also I'm using four cloves of garlic just to have that hint of that garlicky flavor that I really like Now that we are done with our shallots and garlic, let's now take care of our shrimp. To season the shrimp, we're just adding salt, garlic powder, black pepper, and paprika. And after mixing this, I will just let this sit for probably around 10 minutes. It's cooking time. I'm just gonna fry my bacon. So I chop my bacon before frying it. It makes it a lot easier rather than frying the whole bacon and chopping it after. Now that my bacon's crispy, I'm going to set it aside. Now, time for the shrimp. I'm just going to allow this to cook for a minute or two. This is very small shrimp, so I got to be careful not to overcook it. Otherwise, it's going to be so rubbery and not very appetizing to eat. shrimp is ready. For the alfredo sauce, I'm going to use one tablespoon of butter. I'm going to add my chopped shallots. 
I'm going to stay it until it's translucent. Once it's translucent, I'm adding the garlic. I'm using white wine to enhance the flavor of my dish and also to scrape up everything that is at the bottom of the pan. All these brown bits, it's all yummy goodness, deliciousness flavor. After a minute or so, I'm adding the whipping cream. At this point, you have to make sure your fire is set and low to make sure that our cream doesn't burn. Our sauce has been simmering for about 5 minutes. I'm using Parmesan cheese. This is my favorite cheese to use in any pasta. And it really makes a difference. It is really good. And I'm adding a generous amount. I just love cheese. Don't you? Now that our sauce has thickened, I'm just going to put back the shrimp and the bacon. I'm going to taste it to make sure everything's perfect. Mmm, so good. Really, really yummy. While I'm making the sauce, I'm also cooking the pasta, fettuccine pasta, at the same time. I just cook it according to packaging. And now that it's cooked at the same time, I'm going to dump that into my sauce and mix it all together. Yay! We're getting so close. mix this for probably a couple of minutes mm. I'm gonna be adding of course more cheese Finally, our bacon and shrimp alfredo is done. It's tasting time. My favorite part. So this is what we made. I used chopped parsley to garnish my dish. Here it is, our shrimp and bacon alfredo. So guys, as you can see, I'm really enjoying this pasta dish that we made. It is very easy to put together. It's only like less than 30 minutes and you can have this 
fine dining quality. Mmm, so yummy. You should try these guys. Thank you everyone for watching my video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Have a great day. I can't wait for you to try this one. Bye bye. See you on my next video. Thank you.